Um, Minasan, are you ready? Let's do this. So we have this new issue open two days ago, and the developer is Christian, so you can expect performance. It says, um, now that we have a bunch of performance updates landing in VTE, let's take a look at what it would take to get GNOME Terminal to GTK4 as well. What VTE performance updates? Um, those? These patches implement a new drawing backend for VTE using GTK4 and GSK features. This improves performance and reduces dependencies on Cairo, and it's again contributed by Christian. It's only very initial work, so he says, I've started a branch which gets some of the rudimentary bits in place. There are all sorts of crashes and missing things in terminal screen and terminal window still to handle, particularly around D&D and clipboard. And then Christian says he wants to start a discussion to track all the issues and bits, which surprisingly are lots if you go down through that thread. But at least, um, Christian Persh is super happy watching someone else doing the work he was supposed to have done like two years ago. Yeah. Um, I know, not exactly everyone will agree with that statement, but the thing is that, just by being there, just by being the GNOME terminal maintainer, you create responsibilities. And when you're not in a position, for whatever reason, whatever reason, for example, because you work on other GNOME things. So when you are not even in the position to deliver even the minimum, I think porting Terminal, the single most core app of GNOME Desktop, in GTK4 is the minimum. Then you should be loud and be like, I'm sorry, I have no time. Can someone else take over? Or we should kill the project? But you have to be loud, not just let the time passing and bringing all this agony to the community that eventually turns to disappointment. Because I believe, and um, it, it may be just me, I may be wrong, but I believe there are people that can step up and help. It's not like the world ran out of programmers. But um, you have to become, Gnome has to become more open. Because when you see the same people around for 20 years, that's not openness or something really goes wrong with the term. And perhaps what we call diversity in Linux desktop um, could take place inside existing communities just by bringing new people and new ideas. It's not necessary to launch new communities for creating new ideas. And even when these communities are created outside, you should try to merge them. You should merge the new people. Because quite frankly, I don't think that GNOME, both as a project and as community, has the luxury to ignore programmers. Um, and if you really want an example on that last, think of System 76. Cosmic might fail in the end, doesn't matter. The damage has already been done for GNOME and GTK. And I'm quite sure that GNOME didn't try as hard as they should. To make it easier, to give a choice to System 76 to use and contribute back to their stack. To put a closure to all this, what I would expect from GNOME, or what I would at least like to see from GNOME, is to first encourage personal initiatives, um, and also to become more tolerable on feature requests, especially when people are willing to implement those. Not to everything, but on some. Otherwise, the only GNOME vision will truly happen is to left none. None. Upstream contributor, other than people who actually get paid, and unfortunately those aren't many either. Anyway, back to the original matter, although there isn't much to show really. I guess, um, I, I had the need to get it out. So, here we are, um, and everything is identical to GTK3 branch, but made on GTK4. For example, we have the same search widget, although I think that will be moved on header bar. Speaking of, we have the same tabs button, but with the new tabs of GTK4, which still looks neat even after a year, but without the tabs overview if you're looking for it. Oops, good job, Mutter. Preferences window is also the same, it's just ported to libidweta widgets. Although not the controls inside it, so it needs lots more work. Um, and anyway, that perhaps leave us with the question where GNOME console stands now, that is the default terminal in GNOME. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if GNOME develops 30 terminals, and it doesn't matter what the default is gonna be, as long as all of them suck. Imagine, just imagine that. I haven't used the default terminal for like seven, eight years. I switched immediately to Tylix when that came out, and when it was discontinued, a year later we got Blackbox. And I believe I'm still going to use a non-gnome terminal for the years to come, um, because both of them are dead on arrival. Why? Um, hello, Selang? Nobody is going to contribute on that. In fact, gnome console is on ER already. 
for better understanding how bad the situation is with the GNOME Upstream apps, um, the system monitor, another very essential part of the desktop, has a merge request open for port in GTK4 for a whole year, and even after that port, it still remains terribly awful. And at the same time, Community delivered two amazing monitors, made from scratch and rust, in less than a year, and I imagine in their free time. So, um, and I don't know exactly how, but GNOME should figure out ways to motivate some of these people to work on upstream, maybe?